All right, let's talk about how to set up your pictures for your sense of place uh, project. So we're going to do this in Pixlr E, which is a little bit more advanced than Pixlr X. So I'm going to click on Pixlr E. And then I'm going to grab my 8x10 template here. And I'm just going to drag it on here and open it up in original format. All right, now I have these pictures of Chicago that I'm going to use. And it's really simple. All I have to do is select all those and drag them and drop them in here. I'm going to add them to the current each one. All right, and then I just can arrange them and size them however I want to by just taking a corner handle. Okay, so let's say this is my uh, main picture I want to use over here. Um, and then I'm going to use some smaller ones over on the left or on the right. So I'm just going to make all these smaller. So now I want to rotate, let's say this one, rotate this one this way, I'll keep that one straight, and then maybe rotate this one that way. All right. Okay, now that one's getting lost behind this one, and that's just a matter of the layer stacking. Okay, so I just need to. Uh, go ahead and take this one right here and move that down in the stacking order. Okay, that one will pop to the front. Okay, so you can manipulate these however you want to. Okay, now one thing you might want to do is throw a drop shadow on some of these. So, for example, since um, this one is over the top of this one. I might want to throw a drop shadow on that one or all of them actually. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, basically you select the layer or the object, okay, or the, the picture, and then you would go um, up to the filter menu down to drop shadow. Okay, right now it's set at 50 for the opacity um which is fine uh it's up to you how dark you want that so i think 50 is probably pretty good the blur i'm gonna blur that a little bit more the offset is how much it's going to sort of um how what the distance it, it will cast i'm not gonna go that far i think i'll do like dial in 10 double click and dial in 10 again and apply that. So I have 50, 15, 10, and 10. So I'll just remember that. So then I click on this one and I do the same thing. Filter, drop shadow, 50, dial in 15, 10, and 10, and apply that. Okay. So you can see that adds a little bit of depth to the images. I could do that to all of those. Um, you don't have to add any text if you don't want to, but if you do want to add text, um, it's very simple. Okay, all I would do is go over here to this plus button, click on text. That's going to add a, a text box for me. Okay, I can make that larger by pulling it down. Okay, now notice it, it by default, it's in white, um, and it's at the very, well, it's in the middle somewhere. So I want to bring that all the way to the top so I can see everything. Okay, now I'm going to double click that, put on caps lock, and then change the color up here. So I'm going to go with navy blue and let's see I think I want to throw a 
drop shadow on that as well. Alright, that looks good. Um, if you want to change the font itself, you can come over here. Um, let's go ahead and use this one. And then if I want to rotate it, I can rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it this way a little bit. I'm going to resize it a little bit more here. That looks good. And then I'm just going to move it up to here. Okay, then I can just click off somewhere. Um, so uh, a lot of people, there's some examples for you in the uh, folder. Some people like organize these by a grid and they didn't put any text whatsoever and that's fine. Uh, you need, I would say at least five pictures. Uh, some people went up to 10, but it's up to you. I want you to use your best pictures. And remember, it should describe that place. Okay, so this one's pretty good as far as uh, Chicago goes. I mean, Chicago is a pretty big place to describe in five pictures, but definitely you got the inner city from ground level, and then you got it up from a building level. Then you got the details like here in Wrigley Field, um, and then sort of a unique abstract picture of, um, you know, how tall those skyscrapers are. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have questions.